I mean, truly, we have this extraordinary thing having inherited the national key point sagas from the old apartheid government, because everything was national key point in those days for them. And there's Nkandla, which we're not allowed to see because that's a national key point. You know, that group of pondokis that look like a holiday camp in Hermanus. <laughs> that's clever. Nobody's going to burgle it because it looks like pondokis and not like anything else, but it's the 24 floors that go underground. <laughs> you know, there's a huge thing which is based on Monte Cassino. It's a whole city down there. Jacob Zuma can eat in different restaurants every night with a different wife. <laughs> and it's fantastic. They've got tunnels because each wife has got their own pondoki shame. You look, poor wife in a pond. Doggy. No, she's got lifts that go right down, and then she's got tunnels, and all the tunnels go into the biggest pondoki where Papa sleeps, you see. But there's a problem because there are also sheep and there are cattle, because all the money is not in the bank, it's in the car. The sheep and cattle, and they've also got tunnels. And those tunnels get mixed up with the first lady's tunnels, and I think sometimes Papa sleeps with the cow and the sheep as well. <laughs> understand why it's got to be a national key point, you know, you not this to become public knowledge. But then the most important security area in our country, an aeroplane suddenly lands there and all the kugels jump out and rush off to Sun City. I mean, I said, thank you, Guptas, I owe you royalties. It's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. And then, of course, you switch on the TV and you see something that really, truly was so awful to see Nelson Mandela in such distress. I mean, we know he's not young. We know he's not been well. But there he was being terrorized by a gang, like a senile old man being frightened by people he didn't know. And I just thought, oh, God. You know, my job is looking at body language. People cover that with facades and ego. It's OK. But I have to find the body language in order to do a character truthfully. And I looked at Nelson Mandela sitting there, and I thought, what are you thinking? <laughs> Where is Grasa? <laughs> Who are these people? Why are they so fat? <laughs> I wish they would go away so I can watch TV. I want to see my granddaughters on their reality show on TV, so I can recognize them when they come here to take the furniture. But as the ANC has said, I am very well. As the ANC has said, I am up and about. As the ANC has said, I am smiling. <laughs> Please, free me from this A and Z. 